head at Mississippi State. Uh, he's going to have a quarterback battle. There are uh, five potential quarterbacks now for Mississippi State to choose from. They they just got done uh, with Nick Fitzgerald, who uh, did a lot of great things. Um, after Dak Prescott, I was like, okay, now they're going to get some bum, and Nick obviously isn't a bum. Uh, he did some great things. He, he did a lot of amazing things with his feet. He has a lot of mechanical uh, issues to work out with his arm. Uh, of course, his his uh, his injury uh, two seasons ago at Ole Miss really messed him up. He came back and he he uh, he really dominated Ole Miss in the Iron Bowl this past season. So that shows that he has tenacity, he has perseverance. Uh, he so he he's, he has the potential to do some great things at the next level. Uh, we'll, we'll see uh, him wherever he goes. He wasn't a high draft pick, but you know, nonetheless, as far as Mississippi State quarterbacks in the last you know three years, he's the guy that you gotta that you gotta admire. Um, filling his shoes uh, is going to be Caton Thompson, who's who's a junior this year. Uh, who you know th- this guy um, is going to be in the running just because he's an upperclassman. Uh, Logan Burnett, who's also a junior, he also going to have to be in the conversation uh, against Tommy Stevens. Uh, the two freshman quarterbacks on the team are T.J. Macabon. Uh, he he's a guy that that might end up doing great things. He he he's going to have to learn a lot of a lot of things from these three guys ahead of him. Um and then of course you got Garrett Schrader, uh who who was also a freshman. So you got a fifth year senior, two juniors and two freshmen. Obviously the two freshmen might not be the ones that you go with, but who knows? We've seen crazier things out of SEC West schools where the freshman quarterbacks are insane. And we mentioned when Alabama had their spring game, I thought Tua's little brother did better than he did. Um, in terms of efficiency. And so we, we might see that. We might see that here at Mississippi State. We might have two quarterbacks that, that blow out the other three. Um, but I think common sense says to either go with Tommy Stevens as a fifth-year senior from Penn State or Kalen Thompson or Logan Burnett as your guys. Uh, those are kind of the big three in the running right now. Um, no word as to who will start the 2019 season. Um, but nonetheless, it's a possibility. Um and you know, going into the 2019 season, I'm I'm optimistic. I think we'll see another uh, great great matchup uh, from Alabama and Clemson. I think you, they're always going to be the top two uh, schools in the nation, um, at least in the next you know five years. Whenever Saban retires um, in 2025, so for the next you know seven years, we're we're going to see that that. Um, dynamic that dynasty at Alabama we're, we're gonna see them do amazing things the dynasty's going nowhere um as people say it is it's not gone just because they got blown out by Clemson but so we're gonna see some great things o- opening opening week we're gonna see Auburn play Oregon which is gonna be a, a, a an interesting an interesting uh game there it's sort of gonna be how Auburn responds to losing Jared Stidham um and Oregon, Oregon's had some some rough patches ever since what, like two thousand eight or nine, when they when they when they had that run. Um, and then LSU and Texas, and this is a huge game, uh, specifically because it it'll put Texas up against an SEC West school that is known for their powerhouse offense and their just nasty defense. I mean, so so Texas either is gonna uh, you know grow up or shut up, in my opinion. And I, as an Aggie, I hope they just fall over. Um, even though A&M beat LSU, I'm rooting for LSU here, uh, no doubt, because, you know, number one, I don't like Texas. Number two, I think they're way overhyped. And if they prove me wrong here, then I hope that we instill the rivalry again and have A&M play them. Um, and so I, we'll, we'll, we'll keep you updated. Those are sort of the two highlight games I wanted to bring up for uh, for kickoff in the 2019 season. Other than that, that will conclude the episode. Again, we're going to keep keep up with the top five uh, series we're going to go with uh, quarterbacks in college football next week. Um, so we got some interesting stuff going on. Uh, we got a six-week series. Uh, we're, we're going to have another series that I'm not going to mention just quite yet. you got to keep listening. Uh, and we're, we're just going to do some, some interesting stuff here. We're, we're going to focus everything this summer around football. Everything we do, we're, of course, we're, gonna ha- we're still going to have some special episodes with my, with my friends, as you heard last week. Uh, week, but they're going to be bonus episodes. We're going to try to keep the the weekly show about football, and then everything else in between will happen. Um, and so we're, we're, we're very excited about all of that. 
Uh, again, contact me if you liked what I had to say. Uh, it's the throne room on Instagram and Twitter, and then my stuff is at a king boss ninety nine on Twitter and at king underscore underscore Alex underscore underscore on Instagram. Thanks so much for listening, everyone. Hope you have a great week and tune in next time. Yeah.